Let's get professional. And welcome back to the games. This was a really interesting article I was watching about uh, Eve cracking down on cheaters. It's about goddamn time, CCP. And you know when they when they had this conference that I was watching, I finally I found a, a video that was actually from CCP's YouTube channel, and to see them talk about this in such a really nicely put together presentation that's literally forty five minutes, and I will not go into this 45 minute presentation don't worry uh, you, you know how i love to talk about the economy guys welcome to the welcome to the uh <laughs> welcome to the family welcome to the family bro i'm going to talk about this after we talk uh, after we see what how they're going to crack down on cheaters here so let's go here let's 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 see what what he's got to say here so this talk is going to have a couple of different parts but i want to start by talking about cheaters and their effect on the economy. Uh, as I mentioned in the keynote, there has been a brand new team formed earlier this year, um, Team Law and Order. Uh, I'm not actually a member of Team Law and Order, so. So this is interesting. So one of the things that they're doing is they're actually having an active human gaming population that is called Team Law and Order. <laughs> and what they're doing is they're actively going after cheaters. They're they're looking to look they're directly able to look at the analytics, to look at the data and see uh correlations on gamers playing Eve and if they're cheating or not. It's it's a pretty interesting concept. I haven't violated the secrecy of their membership. But the data is much uh, more interesting. Uh, and this team again is, is focused on combating all forms of cheating. Um, so you saw in the keynote, this year we've banned over 100 trillion isk worth of assets and items from people who are cheating in EVE Online. 100 trillion. Do you understand? This is a very economic game, by the way. The, the, the currency inside of EVE is called isk, by the way. So what they've found is currently, to date, from 2019, the beginning of January, 100 trillion isk being the total amount no and and the oh, developers yeah, like know. don't clap at that like i love that there is a guy out there clapping like all right 100 trillion being stolen <laughs> like the guy absolutely doesn't see like he doesn't understand and you know this guy being an analyst and an economist is like no don't don't clap at that. That's not a good thing because this decreases the value of the currency. This actually this amount of cheating will actually decrease the amount of isk for you in game so that when you're ratting and doing the things that you're missioning in Eve, the, the, like say you made 10 million, right? Well, because of this, there's a percentage that gets lopped off. So the 10 million might be, for instance, somewhere around 8 million instead of 10 because that's now the value because of the amount of cheaters here, 100 trillion from cheaters. <laughs> what some of the assets we banned are. Yeah. He's saying, do you want to know what some of the assets are? The next slide. Sorry. This is crazy, this part. So far, we have banned <laughs> right, Fox? This, just this year 39 Titans. 39 Titans. That's. Oof. Doesn't seem like much, actually. Super but carriers. 156 supercarriers. Almost 730 oh, capitals. What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> this is all from cheating. Skill extractors. And they, they found this out. And the cool thing is they never did this research before. So this is a crackdown on cheating in Eve. I love it. I love it. Over 13,000 large skill injectors. <laughs> oh shit. And hey Boochie. And a half million plex. Oh my god. And that's great. They're cracking down on the cheating. I love it that they're actively cracking down on the cheating. I love it. Then some douchebag in the audience says, well, I only see 39 Titans on there. Why is there only 39? And the thing is, it's like, it's like they're doing work. They're doing the work. Give them the time to do the work that they need to do. So I, we should work on that. 
Uh, you should so work I on this. I want to talk a little bit about Sentinel. <laughs> Sentinel is one of the tools that we use to detect uh, people who are cheating in EVE Online in, in the actual game. Uh, the Tranquility server every day, it generates a whole bunch of log information. <laughs> right, uh, it Donnie? It generates this in a variety of different <laughs> other, uh, methods. Right. I'm uh, surprised you didn't files, leave, dude. SQL databases and what have you. And we have built a lot of hunters um, that actually go over all of this data. They go over it in real time. And really good. I'm glad that they're cracking down on it. For, uh, characters and let me let me fast forward a little bit here to other graph porn here that we've got. But we're constantly adding new uh, detection methods, uh, new hunters to this system, and refining Good. our methods that we. I'm glad to hear that. Systems. But we, we this might make Eve playable again for industrial economic players. This actually might be a very good thing to bring back a, a large portion of industrial players that left because they knew cheating was rampant. So where? Oh, hold on, let me let me see if there's more graph graphical porn here. <laughs> so this animation shows the gross NPC bounties from uh, total players for every single player, and then the red line that you see up there. That's from people who we're pretty sure, we're very confident are cheating, but we haven't got around to banning yet. Um, you can quite clearly see the sino changes, the red line there, and you can see sort of the proportion of the economy that is coming from people who we think we're pretty sure are cheating. In fact, it's around about 16%. 16% of people are cheating. So essentially what that means is the amount of ISK uh, you, what, what you're going to see is this amount of cheating from 16% of the player base cheating actually devalues the currency, devalues ISK by 16%. So, so for instance, like one of the examples I said, say you're ratting, which is a form of actually going out and farming. They call it ratting in Eve. You go out there, you blow up a whole bunch of NPCs, you make, uh, say a hundred million. Well, because of the amount of cheaters in the game and the amount of, uh, ISK that has been like pushed into the game because of the cheating, 16% devaluation of that 100 million puts you at 84 million. So the 100 million that you actually thought you had is only worth 84 million right now because of these cheaters. That's pretty significant. Coming from NPC kills are coming from people we think are cheating. So if we just step back for a moment and we pretend that the only way of getting is is killing NPCs, which obviously it isn't, but let's pretend that. If you yeah, it, it your, should, Mosquito. Listen to him. You, you kill a bunch of NPCs and you earn 100 million isk. Those cheaters are effectively devaluing that ISK by 16%. Boom. You Told you, Mosquito. Mean, you would get the I didn't even watch that part. <laughs> uh, just saying. I got skills. Now, professional. This, this hashtag professional. Just saying, bro. Because there are other ways of getting ISK in EVE Online. And also, people who are cheating and not just killing NBCs are also mining and getting LP and everything else. Interestingly, yes, Ray. during Blackout, hey, welcome the to the stream, Ray. It's coming from cheaters dropped around about 5%. And by the way, some of these questions I'm missing in our live chat right now, if you're watching this, these, this is our fam here live. And thank you so much, Ray, for answering questions. It's so nice that you guys are helping each other out over here. Apologies when I stream and I do this sometimes, you know, my focus is all over the place. <laughs> now, the second big reason. So anyway, it's a very good, it's a very good, uh, presentation it's 45 minutes long but all in all i would like to say and conclude the video as such that uh i think that they're because they're cracking down on the cheating i think it's worth giving eve another shot if you're an industrialist player if you're an economic kind of base player and you like manufacturing those types of things mining i think getting back into eve is actually something i would suggest now i i, I really think that eve is going to be a lot more playable a lot more fun because of the crackdown on the cheating of course this is the beginning stages they have a lot Lot more work to do ccp doing this though is a very good thing for the game and i hope that it actually helps the game out and brings more numbers to the game uh and only time will tell but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thanks for watching here on the games and i will see you guys on the next vid